I'm making this video because I want to talk about becoming famous. If anybody who's watching this video, I know, like, if you have a specific talent that you, like, really proud of or really confident about, I'm sure all of us have had that moment, like, you say to yourself, like, I just wish I could become famous because I do it all the time. Well, I'm going to talk about that today. Uh-oh. Oh, my Lord. If you really think about it, is it really worth it? Like, is it really worth becoming famous? In a ways, yes, and in ways, no. In a ways, yes, because, I mean, of course, everybody wants some attention. Everybody wants to be in the middle of, you know, everybody's eye. Everybody wants to be noticed and um, recognized. On TV, spotlight. I mean, I mean, who wouldn't want that? It was not worth it because your privacy is exposed. It is that is a sacrifice you need to make when you become famous. Privacy is exposed, and everywhere you go, people want to know what you're doing, want to know where you're at, want to know who you're dating, they want to know what you do, they want to know who you're mad at, they want to know where you use the bathroom, they want to know where you eat. You want to know where you sleep. You want to know which CD you travel. You want to know, you want to know what show you got to do. You want to know what kind of clothes you wear. You want to know what kind of music you like. Huh. It is. Uh -uh. I'm the type of person I can already see myself. If I was in a spotlight like that, I will get so annoyed because I will just be like, just leave me alone. And then half of the time, half of the reasons why I don't want to be in the spotlight is because I don't want to, um, why not messing up. I know all of us have our mistakes. Sadly to say, Chris Brown, like I really, I really look up to him or look up to him. And when I find out that he did what he did, I mean, I know everybody makes mistakes, and um, I mean, yeah, it's over now. Everybody's entitled to their own opinion. My opinion is like, I really don't know what happened. Like people say, oh, she hit him, and he was text, text, texting Paris Hilton, and um. He beat her up. Okay, but I really we we really don't know what happened, so I'm not gonna be ignorant about the situation and try to talk about something I don't really know about. But if, as far as I hear, I mean, I feel kind of bad for him because he was uh, he was rising and then whoo, just lost it just like that. See how fast, see how long it takes to get famous. See how quick famously famous like the um being known leaves us. That's mm. see God giveth. God take it. See that? So people don't know that. Take it for granted. If they, you think becoming famous is all high, it's all fun and dandy, you know, when they mess up, they'd be like, why did I do this to myself? Why did I put myself through this? Yep. Trust me. Everybody who becomes famous is going gonna, is gonna to have that point in their life where they'd be like, okay, everybody just leave me alone. And that's why they do crazy things. Britney Spears cutting her hair off or, um, Yeah, Britney Spears cutting her hair off. This is crazy things. Like, oh my gosh. For me, I don't even want to know what I would do. Because I do got, um, like, I do got bad temper. It really depends on who's getting me, like, hyped. But half of, the time, half of the time, you don't really see me angry. I'm a very nice guy. I'm a very nice person. Um, I treat you how you treat me. So, they, I, I know, like, some of the people, like, mainly Michael Jackson, all the stuff he's been through. Oh, uh, um, all the lies that's been told about him. Shoot, I, I can't believe he didn't go crazy yet. But still, he still does what he does. And that's the thing. That's the, that's what inspires me to, you know, be, the, um, how to act when I, if I become, like, well-known. That's what inspires me. Does, you do what you do, no matter who's talking about you, no matter what they say. Because the people that love you and always support you, Always gonna come to you first and ask you if it's really true. As Michael Jackson said, if you t if someone tells a lie long enough, or you know over a length of time, they keep telling it to everybody. Eventually, you're gonna think it's the truth. Um, it was this one said that he slept in a hyperbaric chamber. That oh my lord, see that see the crazy stuff like that. And I know people will talk about me and they'd be like, ew, why does he look like that? Or, and what's that? And what, why uh, why is he wearing that? I'd be like, okay, 
for the people that always stick by me. If you're watching this video, you know who you are. People always stick by me. They won't listen to that. People like, Seth, is that true? And I'd be like, no, that's not true, sweetie. And people like, okay. And it'd just be like, let's brush it off. But whoever whoever has the, the dream and fantasy of becoming famous, just don't count your chickens before they hatch. As, as my mother said. Um, don't, don't, ex hey, get your head all filled up. And then when you get there, you know, you just wish you didn't have it. Because, trust me, every, every reward has a consequence. Not meaning, consequence doesn't always mean, you know, bad things, but it means the, the action which will lead, with the action that follows what's happened. So, um, if I drink all of this by the night, tussing, I'm going to die. That's the consequence. Well, I'm lower. But if I become famous, the consequence is privacy. You lose your privacy. That's what you got to give up. You got to make sacrifices if you really want If you really want what you want. Hey, if you decide, if you decide to date somebody, you got to have to give, you got to get the consequence of, um, you know, getting your heart, you got to get the Actually, it's a risk. You gotta get the. You gotta take the risk of getting your heart broken. You, you gotta take the risk of getting lied to and cheated on and all that other stuff people do. I don't know why they do it. I don't know. They do it because they can. But I don't do it. I'm not a cheater. I'm a one woman type of guy. Yes. Yeah, one woman type of guy. That's all I need is one woman. That's it. One woman. But um. But yeah, anybody who's watching this, that's my word for the day. I wish I'd make more videos like this. Just give it more inspiration, you know. All everybody who looks up to me, if there is anybody that looks up to me, I just wanna look out for you. That's that's the way I give back to you. you support me, I support you. Just bless it. But I love all my fans. Everybody who's watching my videos, leave me comments on my page and subscribe to me. I love all of you because I remember before I just had my YouTube account to just um watch videos. Came a long way. I got comments now. I got, got how many videos I got? Hold on. I got like thirty. How many videos? Uh, thirty-four videos. Thirty-four videos. This is my second video today, and the videos just been coming. They've just been coming out the, you know, it's coming out of nowhere. What up? <laughs> oh my lord. So, but yeah, this, this video is almost done. I can't believe eight minutes passed that fast, but whoever's watching this, Seth Johnson loves you. Thank you for your support. Thank you for coming to my YouTube page, too. I don't know how you got here. I don't know if I asked you to come here or you just came here because you saw it in the search results. But thank you for coming here. Jenna Master SMJ. Jenna Master SMJ. Seth Bossy Johnson. I'm out. Ow! Oh, my Lord. Don't you know what